What if you poured water on the sun? First, kindly subscribe and like this video. Second, no amount of water thrown on the sun would cause it to go out. Instead, any amount of water would cause the sun to burn even more. The burning of the sun is nuclear fusion, not chemical combustion. Campfires and candle flames are examples of chemical combustion. In combustion, the electronic bonds between atoms are rearranged without the nuclei of the atoms themselves changing at all. When you throw water on a campfire, the water absorbs heat from the fuel, cooling it to the point that the reaction cannot be sustained. Why are hot temperatures required for combustion? Before new chemical bonds can be formed, which is what releases all the energy that makes a fire bright and hot, the existing chemical bonds between the atoms must first be broken. It takes energy to break apart existing bonds. In a self-sustaining reaction such as combustion, the most common source of this energy is thermal energy due to high temperature. Note that the water thrown on a campfire also puts it out by smothering it, that is by preventing oxygen in the air from reaching the wood and taking part in their reaction. The sun is not a giant campfire. Rather, the sun is more similar to a giant hydrogen bomb going off. In nuclear fusion, the nuclei of atoms are pushed together so hard that they stick together and become new, heavier nuclei. While high temperature certainly plays a role in knocking nuclei close enough together that they experience fusion, the ultimate driver of nuclear fusion in stars is high pressure. To be more accurate, temperature and pressure are intimately linked, but it is ultimately the pressure in the star that creates the high temperature that drives fusion. This high pressure is caused by the star's own gravity. The more mass an object has, the more gravity it creates. This gravity pulls on everything, including the object itself. Simply put, a star is so massive that, it gravitationally crushes itself to the point that its atoms fuse together. If you were to fill a bucket the size of the sun with water and pour it on the sun, it wouldn't extinguish it. Instead, it will add to the sun's mass and increase its hydrogen and oxygen reserves, creating a bigger blue-white star 1.7 times the original size, and would fry nearby planets.